Today we'll be learning how to convert an English sentence or basic simple English sentence into Arabic. So converting uh, English into Arabic. Okay, to Arabic. Now what you have to understand for this first of all is that let's just write a sentence. So let's say sentence is John is uh, a father. John is a father. So there's three steps that we follow. Okay, three steps that we follow. Number one is to turn the sentence the other way around. Flip it over. So once we flip it over from right to left, because in Arabic we read from right to left, it comes out like this. John is a father. Okay, John is a father. And keep the father on this side. Okay, so it, it becomes a bit easier to follow. Number two, okay, let's change color. Number two is to get rid of is. So we have is in the middle. In the Arabic language, they don't use is for some reason. No are. Like when you use for plural, no am, like I am, you don't use am. So here we get rid of is, is goes. So we're left with John, a father. Uh, number three, okay, let's translate. So translate into Arabic. So let's say John, John is, is, is going to remain as John. And a father is Abun. Okay, Abun. Abun. I'm not going to put the vowels on yet, and I'll explain why in a bit. Uh, and finally, let's put on the uh, vowels. Number four is adding the vowels. Okay, the vowels. So the vowels go on the end of the words, remember? Vowels go on the end, and here would be Abun, a father. The reason it's abun and not abu, double vowel in the words, double, because like we've learned in the previous clips, the vowel it becomes singular if alif lam is added on to the beginning, or a word is added on to the end which has a possessive meaning, meaning of of. Now obviously that hasn't happened here, so let's just get rid of that. Uh, so it's a double vowel, jonun. Abun. So John is a father in Arabic is Johnun Abun. That's what it means. Uh, let's have another go. Let me just uh, rub this out. So I mean this is a simple method and you can do it with many different types of words and all you need is a bit of practice. So okay let's write Peter is knowledgeable knowledge able oops knowledgeable okay uh, so P is knowledgeable now what we do is let's follow the steps so first of all switch it over Peter is knowledge able oh, getting this wrong okay so Peter is knowledgeable then second step, let's get rid of is. Is is gone. Third step, let's translate. So Peter is Peter, a knowledgeable in Arabic language. You might know this is Alim. Alim. And adding the vowels on the end. Okay, mean that Peterun Ali Mun. Okay, Peterun Ali Mun. So that's basically how we translate a, a sentence from English to Arabic. On future clips, I'll be showing how we convert Arabic sentences into English.